Welcome to day 669 of our Web3 journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein, here with my twin brother, Brian. And remember, these videos are being sponsored by thesocialworld.com. They are an app built on the DSO blockchain. So it's a big day for NFTZ, uh, the NFTZ slash DSOMON gold, Psycho Cyborgs NFT, one of one, is up for auction. And it ends today at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And it's funny because at the time we're recording this video, the the bid is only up to 0.1 DSO. So you might be able to get a steal here. Uh, DSO Mon, of course, an OG series. Uh, the Psycho Cy Cyborgs NFT series. You know, we're doing the one of one gold, one of 10 silver, and one of 250 bronze. So this is the one of the one of one. So this is one of the extra rare ones. So check it out, 2 p.m. Eastern time today. It ends on nftz.me. Yeah, definitely check it out. Uh, the series is continuing. Lots of great uh, DSO OG artists we're going to be working with as we head through the next few months. Uh, so it seems like things are beginning to happen at DSO. Lots of changes on the way. Uh, Sean Slater via DSO releases pointed out last night that release version 3.1 has hit testnet. Uh, this release only is going to create a fork on testnet since mainnet block heights are not set in, the, in this release. Um, <clears throat> the mainnet associations and access group fork uh, is going to be set and announced in a separate release. Um, but Lazy Nina also made a post after Sean Slater saying, that version 3.1.0 is out. Uh, she said that the release adds support for associations as well as access groups. Uh, this is gonna allow for new social primitives, uh, will, which will enable features such as reactions, polls, encrypted content, decentralized verification, on-chain on group messaging, and endorsements. So lots coming with this update. Uh, I'm really excited. Uh, the fork for testnet is going to hit around 4 p.m. Eastern time. So in about about seven hours from now, uh, from when we're filming this, uh, and the announcement for the main fork uh, will come as soon as it's confirmed. Uh, I'm really excited about this. I think associations alone has a lot of potential to kind of differentiate social on chain from social off chain web three versus web two uh what do you think yeah and group chats i mean group chats are going to enable a lot of stuff especially if we start thinking about their rareable integration uh group chats between ethereum collectors and artists and people other people are on DSO has a potential to be really big and then you start thinking about other chains like solana and polygon and whatever else you want to think about and it kind of brings the entire crypto space together on one chain and that chain is DSO. So wait and see, uh, you know, we don't know it's going to be a hundred percent success, but it has a lot of potential. Absolutely. And moving on, um, Ossified, he made a post about several big things taking place on DSO. Uh, the Princeton competition, uh, it's going to have a lot of exciting speakers on hand and that includes the founders of Near protocol and also Compound. Uh, the DSO website is coming very soon. He he calls the new site wild and said that it will completely put his jQuery usage to shame. Um, associations, like Brian said, are coming, and that's for both users and posts. It's, so that's going to include emoji reactions on posts, which is something entirely different than the user associations, which have so much potential in my mind. Much more as well. Um, it's going to include back-end API endpoints, which I think a lot of developers are going to be excited about. Uh, access groups, like you said, the access groups are going to allow for on-chain E2EE group chats, as well as cross-chain wallet-to-wallet messaging to message Ethereum addresses who are on the DSO blockchain, like I mentioned earlier. Improvements to the DSO JavaScript library are coming, including more derived key permissions and management. So I know a lot of developers are probably looking for additional ways to utilize utilize that. I think it can be very helpful. Uh, and new developer documents are coming as well. I think something, you know, with without the developers on chain, you're not going to have the community. 
So I think developers are super important. An official mega swap announcement is coming as well with improvements to the fee calculations. I know a lot of people had issues with fees. They thought they were a little too high. So hopefully this reduces them and helps make mega swap a more useful tool. Improvements to DSO wallet version two are coming with cash out USDC and the ability to send DSO functionality. So that's super exciting too. And more details are going to be released by Lazy Nina and Ash DSO very soon. Not sure how soon, but it's coming. Yeah, I, I mean, the core team, uh, Salil Shah, Natter, they've all been quiet leading up to this. So I think we know why. I think they've been just working so hard on so many things. Uh, it's really impressive how much is going to be rolling out here in the next couple of weeks. And uh, <laughs> I think it has potential to really showcase what DSO is all about and showcase why DSO is needed. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's not going to just blow up daily active users overnight, but I, I think that we're setting the framework here for what could be a very powerful uh, <clears throat> Web3 version of social media. Yeah, I agree. The foundation's been set. Now this is the framework, and I think builders are going to be built on top of that. Uh, so Jacob Van, I want to congratulate him because he announced yesterday that he is now working full-time on Web3. Of course, that means DSO. Congratulations, Jacob Van. I know he was in the military, and I guess he's finally out of the military and can dedicate his full time to DSO. He said his goal is to help creators better monetize their content and make a living doing what they love. Don't we all want to do that? He also said that he looks forward to this journey with all of us. So can't wait to see what Jacob Van has in store for us. Love what he does with his DSO videos on YouTube. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot more content being pumped out by Jacob. Yeah, big congratulations to Jacob Van. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how he's going to push things forward and help DSO because I, I think he has a lot of potential. He's a really smart guy, uh, really knowledgeable about blockchains. Um, so a new NFT project's coming. Tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so a new NFT project in partnership with Generative. Of course, Generative is the minting process app that's built by Chermerslav Digdong. And the new project is called Foxes. That's Foxes with a P-H, P-H-O-X-E-S. We don't know too much about it yet, but we do know they're teaming with Generative and it's coming soon. So stay tuned, follow Foxes on DSO, follow Generative and Chermoslav Digdong as well. Definitely. And as many of you know, NFTZ.me is the only place where you can post and view live timed auctions for NFTs on the DSO blockchain. Just go to NFTZ.me forward slash auctions. And you can see a list of the auctions that are ending very soon. And by very soon, I mean like two to three days. There are some that I want to mention that are ending the next 24 hours. There are a couple of dwarf monster NFTs. If you haven't seen these yet, they're really cool. Uh, several of them were claimable NFTs and people are putting the ones they claimed up for auction already. They weren't, a, it wasn't a large number available for claims. So only a small amount of people got them, but now you can buy, bid, bid on them in auction and hopefully get one if you would like. Uh, that ends at 11 a.m. Eastern time today. And of, of course, the uh, gold 101 DSOMON slash NFTZ Psycho Cyborgs ends at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time, there's a new DSO Ghost NFT. It's a rare number 218 that ends. And I believe there's another DSO Ghost common NFT that ends a little later in the evening. So a lot of exciting stuff going on in, in the world of DSO NFTs. Yeah, for sure. Uh, lots of great auctions. And the top 10 DSO NFT bidders over the last 24 hours, they are as follows. Thanks to NFTZ for this list. Zer1, Kaluzinov, J Vega, Eat Green Apples, Steadfast LLC, Johan Holmberg, That 70s Robot, Chermislav Digdong, David J. Ryder, and Gatuku. And the top diamond creators over the last 24 hours, thanks to our friends at Alton Base for this list. These people receive the most diamonds or tips on their posts and their replies on the DSO blockchain last day. The Sarcasm, Birth Block NFT, Skin Lover, Michelle Lord, Now and Then, Wildography, Jay Happy, DSO Ghost, Elric Ericos, and Happy Rabbit. And one thing I want to say, tomorrow at 2 p.m., tune in to William Laurent and Michelle Lord's Twitter space. Fungibles is going to be on. He confirmed it with us. William confirmed it with us. So great guy, DSO user, big time NFT collector, big time NFT uh, connoisseur 
uh, going to be on on their show tomorrow at 2 p.m. Yeah, Eastern. don't miss it. And that's all the news we have for today. Everybody have a great rest of your Tuesday, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.